Hey everybody, welcome to this month's question of the month. Um, if you've got a question you want to submit, go to yoganatomy.com forward slash my question and we'll answer it for you. So this month's question comes from Andreas. The question is, when forward bending, my abdomen hardens, which obviously makes forward bending, both sitting and standing, difficult. What can I do to relax the muscles? Oh, that is, that's a good question, Andreas. Um, there's a few things to unpack here, and uh, you're not alone, number one. Um, I definitely have found multiple people in over-engaging of the abdomen is what we're really talking about here. There's nothing necessarily wrong if your abdomen engages a little bit while you're doing a forward bend. Um, there's two main reasons for this. Um, one is, uh, one, one, one part of it is, um, a lot of people are abcentric in their movement. Um, that's a made up word, abcentric. And what I mean by that is they've trained their body to utilize their abdominal muscles for movement. Um, and it's not like your abdominal shouldn't work when you do certain movements, so they should. It's part of creating stability and core strength. It's mixed into all of that, which is good. There's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes it's so overdone that it does what it's doing in your case, which is um, turning on and then blocking movement. So that, that's, that's one aspect of it. The second is, and I see this very commonly, is the tighter somebody's hamstrings are, the more their abdominal muscles end up um, contracting in their forward bends. I think part of this is um, the body is trying to create this forward bending movement and it's trying to get it from wherever it can. Now, technically speaking, your abdominal muscles, and I always say this to students, your abdominal muscles do not cross your hip joints. Increasing the tension of your abdominal muscles does not deepen your forward bend. Those two things are separate, but what happens is the body kind of is sensing the goal, which is let's say to get your chin or your head or whatever down to your knees or to your shins, and so it just starts to create that from anywhere. And so what happens is the abdominal muscles contract and it starts to round your spine, which does bring your head closer to the knees or shins or whatever it is you're aiming for. There's another possibility with the tight hamstrings and the abdominals, particularly in standing, and that is stability. And so the abdominal muscles um, start to contract to help stabilize you and help be part of the whole balancing mechanism in your body. So it's often difficult for people with tight hamstrings to let the abdomen go while being in a forward bend. I mean, you could, you could easily argue that forward bending requires zero contraction of abdominal muscles, unless there's some stability that's required in the spine or torso in, 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 in an individual kind of case. So I'm not sure which camp you're in, you have to figure that part out for yourself. If you're in the camp where you think it's just trained to fire and turn on, then there's nothing else you can do except to consciously control when your abdominal muscles turn on. So as you're doing your forward bends, let your body do it, pay attention to how it's turning on those muscles and when in particular it's turning on those muscles, and then settle in and try to get your abdomen to relax as much as you can and if you can do that, you'll find that there are deeper muscles. This is the other really important part of retraining this pattern, if that's the case for you, which is there are deeper muscles that are way more effective at creating a forward bend for you. For instance, the iliopsoas, quadriceps, adductors. All of the, it's almost as if the abdominals turning on blocks you from finding and utilizing those muscles, which is a much more efficient and proper way to do your forward bending or to do the forward bending from. So I hope that triggers some ideas for you, uh, gives you some food for thought, and uh, maybe you can distinguish how that pattern is working in your body and then retrain it. Anybody else, if you got a question, no problem, go to yoganatomy.com forward slash my question and we'll get it answered.